keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right We keep internet friends welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey if you're not new here then you guys will know that I do try to remain as positive as possible but also I do struggle with some body image issues I have been in a long plateau that I am trying to get through I also have been dieting and exercising for a very long time a year and a half to be exact and while I am down 55 pounds editing my video yesterday, I uh, felt uncomfortable with certain aspects of my body. <laughs> it was an important video for me to put out. I wanted you guys to see what my routine is if you think that I'm making progress that you also want to incorporate. I thought it was important to show different exercises, different muscles, and how you can do an all, almost all over body workout in about half an hour with some weights and, and some things found on the internet that have training tools. I also was the one who chose those ill-fitting pants, chose to wear a sports bra without a tank covering up what I know my insecurities are, and I also chose to put it on the internet, um, which is always a choice. Uh, I know I have to be prepared for any critiques or criticisms, but it still kind of messed with my brain. I know I'm working on this and it won't be perfect and it won't be immediate results. I spent like six years putting all that weight on. It's going to take a little bit of time to get it off. As long as I'm working hard at it, it will go off. <sighs> but while I was feeling crappy about things, uh, I luckily came across a video that I wanted to share with you guys. If you're watching me, there's a chance that you watch weight loss journey vlogs. I watch a plethora of them, not only for inspiration and motivation, but also to feel a little less alone in my journey. <laughs> so I watch a lot. Sarah is strong is someone that I have been following for a while. I enjoy her content. I enjoy how open and honest she is. Throughout her journey so far, she shared meals, she shared workouts, she, sh she shared her feelings, <laughs> and I enjoyed it. Six months ago, I was at the highest weight of my entire adult life. Previously, in 2022, I had lost 30 pounds, but in 2023, I gained it all back and more. So, by December of last year, I weighed in at 195 pounds, but six months later, I weigh 175. But she needed a bit of a break. And what I respect is that she let her viewers know that she was going to take that break and the reasons why. She made her return back, I think a couple days ago, and she went into explaining more details about why she needed a break. She did some reflecting. I think her video was very well made and I think it is because she spent a lot of time and consideration on reflecting where the ups and downs were happening. But I'm also still trying to like work through some mixed feelings that I have about my weight loss journey so far. So there's a few things I want to mention and I do believe I will be adding a little bit of clips in here. <laughs> but one of the first things that I really took away from it was that she was being very hard on herself during 
the journey. And I'll be honest, it surprises me that with how off and on I was the last six months, I still ended up losing 20 pounds. Part of me feels like I didn't do enough. And I, fe- I, I definitely felt that way. And I vocalized that a lot throughout the last six months, like feeling like I was too off track, feeling like I was failing, feeling like I was quitting, just a lot of feelings of like me being so incompetent and me not knowing what I was doing and me just like veering way too far away from the goal. But in retrospect, now that I'm on the other side of it and I'm 20 pounds down, I look back on that and I'm like, why was I being so hard on myself? And that is something I think we all can relate to. We can be extremely hard on ourselves past the point that we would be to anyone else embarking on a journey. At no point did I think that she was messing up. I thought she's she's trying, she's keep going, she's she's doing it. And the weight that she was losing didn't seem enough to her at the time. And um, I know that feeling real well, but I love the fact that she can see the other side of it now. She has lost weight. 20 pounds is not insignificant. It's quite a bit actually. A lot of people struggle with weight loss and even losing a pound is an impressive feat as long as you are continuing to lose those pounds until you hit your goal. But I really appreciate that now that she has taken a step back, is on the other side, she can recognize she did, is doing a good job. She had to find a way that worked for her. And that's kind of my second point to this. <laughs> like I have mentioned before, not every diet plan is a one size fits all. My partner is on a keto diet. I am on a balanced portion control diet. <laughs> that's what works for me. Also what works for me is learning a lot about nutrition and fitness and going out on hikes. This has propelled me forward. For some reason, I find the nutritional information very fascinating, extremely fascinating. And I think it's because I have ignored it for so long that I, my mind gets blown whenever I learn something new. So I find it very interesting. But for her, not so much. And why I felt like I wasn't doing enough was because I wasn't like living, breathing, and having everything be about weight loss. I don't want to feel like my life and my interests and my hobbies and everything that I do when I'm not at work is revolving around weight loss. I don't think that that's sustainable for me. I think that some people do pour themselves and change their interests, change their lifestyle completely to revolve around health and fitness. And I think that's fine if that's what works for other people. But personally, I have hobbies that are very time consuming and I rather do something that allows weight loss and calorie tracking and exercise. I rather allow that to work in the background of my life and slowly see some progress while I focus on the things that I actually care about. From my take, her weight loss is more of a relaxed style where it doesn't encompass your entire life, which that can be intense for a lot of people. She mentions that on a weight loss journey, some people go into the the fitness persona. And I think I have incorporated that. I think that is what I am turning into. <laughs> it's fine for me. But a lot of people don't want that intensity in their lives. A lot of people want to be able to lose weight at a slow and steady pace and make it an enjoyable experience for them in their own way. If someone were to ask me to journal all of my stuff, I would think you were punishing me. Other people really enjoy it. The fact that we are so different and diverse means that we need different and diverse plans and it also makes us a wonderful community. A lot of different advice can be shared. It's up to you to take the advice you want to take with an informed opinion. And one of the best ways to get an informed opinion is to have different people speaking of their own experiences and what worked for them. I am really happy for her return. I'm really happy that she's reinvigorated and I'm really excited to see what comes of her channel because she's going to be incorporating different things. And if you guys have been watching for a while, you know I also tried my hand at that. I really wanted to branch out and do a lot of different things and see what stuck. I needed to try those things, found a lot of things I hated, and a lot of things that I liked. And I think that that is an important part of kind of branching out and knowing your likes and dislikes, kind of like what is it, the, uh, the runaway bride, right? She didn't even know what eggs she liked or how she liked them. I very much was living in that world. In my head, weight loss meant you have to restrict your foods and that was the end of it. I thought I was gonna have to eat boiled chicken and broccoli every day. 
By the way, I learned that's a horrible diet. It, it doesn't have to be that. <laughs> if you branch out and you try new things and you learn different things about yourself, it doesn't have to be that. There is a calorie restriction involved in weight loss, but it doesn't have to be the main focus. You can find meals that fill you up, even under a calorie restriction, meals that make you feel good, that taste good, meals that satiate you for longer and give you energy to do the things outside that you may enjoy. So while I went the route of kind of going fitness and nutrition girly, I'll still have a bit of alcohol. I'll have the occasional McDonald's hamburger because it is it is yummy. And I will occasionally go out to a buffet that serves mainly seafood, but I know there's tons of sugars and oils in it. You'll also get people who find extreme enjoyment out of bodybuilding kind of diets and exercise. It's fun for them. That sounds like torture to me. It, it does, but there's people who enjoy it. I think the main point I wanted to make here is that even though I felt bad, kind of still feel bad from yesterday, um, I have to really look at a big picture. Sarah took time to reflect, to kind of get away and mentally pause and regroup. And I think it's a really good reminder that with some perspective, you can see things in a different light and see how positive things are, what you might have to tweak. Recognize that you might be hard on yourself when the majority of the people out there are cheering you on <laughs> and telling you you're doing great. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box below. I enjoyed it and I think I have really good taste. <laughs> so, But in all seriousness, I do think it is a good watch to maybe remind ourselves to find our own way and be easier on ourselves. Okay, that's gonna be the main section of this video. We're having steak for dinner. Sirloin steak, so I can have probably about eight ounces of it. I don't really have much more to share today, so I will show you a picture of my steak, give you the calorie count, and I'll say goodbye now. Bye. Turning lies, that's how we stay alive.